last year we were filming for Mr. Plant, so oh my God. a lot of the attention was on me, so I feel like almost this year is like, give the focus and the attention and the support to the friends and to the heroes that I look up to and think that deserve it, you know? It's cool to be in a position to help your friends, you know, shovel a little bit harder for your friend to, <laughs> to get his shot or whatever, like, just try and make it happen for your, for your buddy who, who has been there so many times for you. And that's really how I feel oh, yeah. strongly about Jake Welch. Oh yeah. Awesome. At the beginning of last season, Jake started out with no sponsors uh, and just like a glimmer of like, hey, I want to start filming again. And within one year, he, you know, got a, an opening video part and then a cover and interview with the biggest snowboard magazine in the world. When he hit me up and was like, hey, let's go on these trips or whatever, I didn't really think anything of it, you know? I was just like, yeah, like, love to go snowboard with you. I feel like I owe Pat a ton, you know? To get the coverage that I did, it was definitely, like, something that I was really proud of, you know? During all the form years and and last year and everything, he was so willing to help other people more than accept help for himself. So this year, I want to see him have his year. Really, my approach for this year is just to not take it too serious, just have fun. Welch and I were riding Brighton for the first week or so of this season. We were both just like trying to get comfortable on our boards again and get used to turning and jumping and stuff like that. But the whole time we were both just like, all right, we kind of like maxed this part out. <laughs> Can't get ready for filming just by turning and hitting rails in the park and stuff like that. You gotta, you gotta jump right into it. In the time that I've been around, there's been so many snowboarders that have come and gone. And they've all been talented. They've all accomplished a lot. You know, you, you hold a lot of people up on a pedestal of being the best guys that have ever been and will ever be and you hope that that integrity lasts, you know? But when the support stops coming in for your favorite guys, it's always like a, it's always a tough one to swallow. It's really weird to me that I'm a pro snowboarder, I'm sponsored, but Jeremy Jones is not. When he lost his support, you know, through his sponsors, I, 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 I was bummed on that just cause like, if Jeremy Jones can get dropped, <laughs> We're all screwed. Anything can happen overnight, you know? Your job could be gone the next day, and like, that's it, which is scary to think about. I've thought about it for 10 years, you know, when the day's gonna come because of my, my career. I can't believe it's been as long as it has, you know? Every year I'm just like, really, I'm doing this again? And I'm into it, you know? Like, that's the surprising part, is I'm, I'm not burnt out. Like, I still wanna keep going. When a brand that you believe in, that you put everything into, says to you, it's over. That'll crush you, you know, it almost did me. Getting outside of that mindset is important if you want to keep going. I thought about it for a week and I just never felt right about that, that uh, idea, you know. Both my kids and my wife just said, there's no way you're quitting until you decide you're, you're done. I mean, they wouldn't have it any other way. They're just like, no, you go hard, you know? So I'm going hard. Oh, that was yeah. a tough one. That was a tough one.
Big Air Chair. Big Air Chair. Big Air Chair. Big Air Chair. He always works the best when, you know, something or somebody's telling him no. It just gives him way more fuel, way more fire. He's always going against the odds and going against the grain to, to do what he wants to do because it's just how he is and the person he is. I need a project, you know? And so that's where I was sitting. I was sitting there with nothing, like, what am I gonna do? I got invited on the real snow. That's a huge opportunity. You know, I would have never thought I had been back in that. But I'm grateful for it. I'm thankful for Pat, too, like, just stepping in and picking me up. He's the dude that's holding me in the game right now. It's so rad what Pat's doing. He's bringing in people that he respects and is giving them a platform. It's all based on inspiration, respect, and dedication to snowboarding. I think it's just like your instincts. You know, you see someone like that kind of fall down or, or, or whatever, you want to help them get back up. My family's never really been able to see me do it in the street, and they showed up. If they look at the real snow, and they're like, that shot's not in there from that night that we were there. Like, how am I gonna live with that, you know? And that was my motivation at the end, was just like, I'm going until I can't go anymore because I have to show them that, you know, what they came out to support worked.